Out of any video game, that's the most realistic entry to a room I've seen. Really legit look as far as gear and the way everything is set up. It's a shitty situation. Like, they're playing on the heartstrings in this scenario. Like, you don't know who's alive, who's bad, who's got a weapon on them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Patrick, I'm a former Marine. I'm Jason Lilly, this is uh, Call of Duty's Hunting Party. I hope you enjoy this. Make sure you YouTube warriors like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Demon dogs, time to take this to the fan. Yeah, this is where they say, they don't say devil dog, they say demon dog, which is like a copyright thing, I think. That's what <laughs> is that? Since when is devil dog copyrighted? The Germans during World War One nicknamed us devil dogs, which in German is Tufelhunden. So in this scene, you'll hear it. All demon dog, road is clear. They say demon dog instead of devil dog. But... So stupid. But it looks 100% like Iraq. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. What the f was that? It's kind of a tripwire, but. Yeah. He's also the most movie. visible tripwire I've ever seen. Like nine times out of ten real world, you're not seeing goddamn wires across like you would like Vietnam era. Like that's some movie shit. These guys will booby trap compounds and doors. They'll booby trap areas where they may not have been there for weeks. They're gonna booby trap it just because they know eventually U.S. or coalition forces are gonna come through, and they want to create as many injuries as possible. The Taliban are, in my opinion, a far worse enemy than what we saw in Iraq. With booby traps, those guys were badass not only on the road for vehicles I mean, they do crazy shit where they've watched us stack up on doors yep. and they buried the bomb in the wall and cover it so you're up against the wall waiting to go into a, a door you step on a fucking plate the wall is blowing up and plenty of dudes have died from that it's fucked up it's not that simple to find these things they're smart they're good at what they do Disarm it, check, on it. Salute to all the explosive ordnance techs out there. Like, to me, it's like the worst job. Like, and those guys sign up for that job happily. And yeah, I see bombs, I hear about an ID, I'm going the other way, to be honest <laughs> with you. No shit. <laughs> He's got all his uh, supporting elements right there in front of him. Those were like tow missiles, man. That was a Bradley, is what it looked like. Yeah, what's so, the Bradley? Bradley. See, we've definitely got some joint operations going on here. It's not a lot of times Marines and Army are teamed up together. It's usually broke down in the sector. I get it, it's a game, but dude, cinematography wise, like they did a fucking crazy job. I like how he's candid around the corner. That's that's, that's a pretty real world shit. How he's pie in the corners? That's good. Yeah. So I've used that same setup in real world. So that's an EOTech with a three by magnifier. You can set yep. it with a magnifier. So. <laughs> Did you just run over top of him? Yeah. That that digicam was that good. Yeah, I know. You've got skater dude running over top of you. I like how you can still hear the freaking helos and stuff outside. Yeah, I'm not a campaign guy personally. It's multiplayer all the way, but I've played this mission. It, it's this is a good one though. Like whoever is playing right here is doing it really well. Like real world. Like he, he's going to every door and like he's checking. Like it's it's pretty realistic. Could be an ambush. Just check them. All of them. Yeah, I don't I don't like that situation at all. It'd be crazy. Those are all combatants, like hands. Oh down. yeah. Like, I, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that was pretty good. It's the thing. If you treat everybody as an active combatant until it's been absolutely otherwise. I don't know the entire story if he's still in prison, but there was a news camera guy attached to a Marine unit taking fire from a mosque in Iraq. We as Marines, as Americans, look at the mosque as like this holy, don't touch the fucking mosque. It's like off limits and there's like conventions. But the bad guys don't give a shit about any conventions. Well, they kicked in the door to this mosque and there was a bunch of injured, if not dead, Iraqis. And one of the Marines with the fucking camera guy behind him shoots one of these dudes in the face. And the dude went to prison for it. So yeah. it's a shit situation. Like they're playing on the heartstrings in this scenario. Like black and white, if, if you're injured, 
roll them up, put some handcuffs on them, like squeeze them for intel. At this point, they're out of the fight, in my opinion. You probably shouldn't shoot them in the face, but at the same time, you're a few dudes, like you don't know who's alive, who's bad, who's got a weapon on them. Like smoking a dude in the face is probably the safest bet. It's tough to judge somebody on the decision that they make at that particular point in time. I'm sure that guy felt like he was doing the right thing, but I, I tell you what, I'm definitely not gonna judge the guy. I've treated bad guys before. You have to tie these guys down. It's not like you're treating them and they're like, oh, thank you for saving my life. They don't give a shit. In defense of those dudes, like, I get taken by the bad guys. They tie me down. They're trying to treat me. Like, I'm still going to try to break out of it and flee. They do. They're not just hanging out letting you put a goddamn IV in them. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. I'm really surprised about the graphics. The graphics are fucking really good. Yeah, they're really good. We got a 45. I don't think anybody uses those anymore. We did. They still use 1911s. I, I think everyone's transitioned to block. I mean, personally, my biggest fear in combat during the height of the war was being in a situation like this, you know, as an American combatant wrapped up by the bad guys. Like, I always saved a bullet in my breast pocket with a happy face that I drew on it with a map pen. I was gonna shoot everyone that I could, but if I had to, I'm, I'm not gonna get caught, you know, and put on live TV with my head getting cut off. So that's like the worst case scenario right there. See, that, that picture right there, uh, <laughs> so what that dude looks like is probably one of the better looking American force dudes that I've seen in any video game. Under his flag, he's got like a little freaking IR tab. It's just a reflective thing. So if there's any light on him, they can see it. He's got Wilcox mount on his helmet, wearing a camelback for water going around to the front that he's got access to. I mean, yeah, really legit look as far as gear and the way everything is set up. Minus the weapon off his left shoulder there. The muzzle of that gun is touching the ground. <laughs> so it's a fucking taboo in the Marine Corps. Like your muzzle of your weapon does not ever touch the ground unless you're dead. You keep positive control of that weapon system always, always. I think you're getting into video game world right there. Other than that, like they did a really amazing job. Other than the other Marine running around with an AK? Yeah. yeah. However, yeah. I know stories of Marines, true stories. Yes. Guys have picked up AKs because they've gone dry, the weapon system's fucked up. Google Brian Shantosh and Corporal McCormick, they charged a fucking trench and they picked up enemy RPGs and AKs to take care of the bad guy. So there are true stories of Marines picking up enemy weapon systems to, to survive. See that one dude with the flat top? It looked like it was a flat top AR. No sights, nothing on it. You've got a hodgepodge of different weapon systems, like very modern and very rudimentary, so I don't know what the is going on here. It's a very underfunded unit. <laughs> Don't shoot him. Get him on the ground. I love the fucking rainbow on the back. It's pretty epic. It looks like your living room, right? Clear. That was good. That was really good. Yeah, that was that was good graphic. That's 100% yeah. realistic. Yeah, 100%. The first guy in the room, boom, goes to the right. Next guy goes to the left. The other guy goes in the center and you take your corner and you move down the wall and you clear all your targets. That was really good. Out of any video game, that's the most realistic entry to a room I've seen. That's how you should take a room down. I mean, it's three fucking dudes, but it's a video game. Most dudes just plays into a fucking room. You're not really <laughs> have the threat of dying in real life, so. It's done well. I mean, they do a good job. Everything looks really good. Omar Suleiman, you are now in custody of Special Operations Force. It looks like a dude in Afghanistan that we shot. In Afghanistan, yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, it was good. He... Oh, yeah. Like, no, don't don't be sorry. Well, did you know he had a side gig as a uh, mocap actor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Overall, I think this is the best campaign slash like single player mission I've seen out of most games. It's super realistic. Graphically speaking, weapon systems, it's not so space age. It's pretty current to the modern time. And obviously, I'm, I'm biased. I spent a lot of time in Iraq. For reviewing this, you guys picked the right one. Like, this is a good one. I 100% agree with Jason. It looks good. These guys clearly put a lot of time and energy looking into the environment, the weapons, the tactics, and it shows. You know, they spend a lot of time trying to make this as real as it possibly can be within the confines of video game. I mean, dude, it's fucking fun. I've, I've played eight straight hours to where I had a geek in my neck. Um, <laughs> eight hours. I didn't eat or go to the bathroom for eight hours. Jesus Christ.
It's a good game. You are giving me a lot of Carol Baskin energy. Yeah. Don't f you me. just you excuse Carol Baskin from your fucking genes. But you know what's f***ed up? I live right next to Baskin Robbins, and every time I go there, I think <laughs> I'm like giving her money somehow. You're supporting her murder plans for her next husband.